Space Marine 2 has been released, and my god, is it as glorious as we thought. But Eternal War has made my jaw drop, and I am so excited to give you guys some tips on how to play it a bit better. Before we get into classes, just know one thing. This is a third-person shooter, so staying behind cover so enemies can't see you, but you can see them is very important. The tactical class is your best friend. In every game, you must have at least one person playing this class. It has three armor and a massive selection of weapons, which makes it incredibly versatile. But where it shines is its ability, Auspex Scan. It is one of the most overpowered abilities. It has infinite range and gives you wall hacks for about five seconds, depending on how long enemies stand in the AOE. Use his ability at choke points and combine its abilities with the sniper as he can get pretty much every class down to at least a 2-3 shot with every headshot. The assault class is your standard jump pack intercessor with a long charge up time for the ground slam ability. Using cover and flanks with the assault is imperative because if you just go straight in you're going to get team shot and die instantly. Trust me I've done that so many times. But your ground slam ability does massive damage and is a counter to the bulwark shield. When you see that little shield symbol pop up that means that they are absorbing all incoming damage all you have to do jump up slam them completely negates it also one very very important tip whenever you are meleeing do not worry about the shield melee damage does not correlate to shield damage that is only for projectiles melee damage goes straight to health Stay behind cover until a heavy or bulwark can take the brunt of the damage and then you ground slam the enemy team paired with the bulwark rush and heavy support you are guaranteed to wipe the squad. Now before we go any further everyone needs to understand this game is way more complex and deep than we think. This game mode can just be a hack and slash if you want or a gears of war copy where you just shoot from afar do a bunch of stuff run around dodge everywhere that's fine. But the developers specifically designed each class and ability to specifically counter another class and have weaknesses that can be exploited by each class as well this is a team based game let me say that again this is a team based game moving as a unit and giving call outs is how you can easily win games the vanguard class is my personal favorite and one of the harder classes to master the vanguard is incredibly versatile in a team its ability to grapple hook can be used as a traversal item or an attack if you hook onto an enemy directly you stun him for the duration of the grapple this is an immediate counter to the heavy ability, which puts a shield up. If you grapple the heavy, it takes down the shield and stuns it, leaving him open to be team shot. Bulwark is your tank and probably the scariest to any team when he uses his ability. However, if you are going solo, you will get obliterated. The heavy machine gun is the only counter to this ability. Its rate of fire on the heavy machine gun is the only thing that can outpace the healing ability. Sticking a team with a bulwark is incredibly useful. Using his ability at certain choke points allows for your team to rush while still having full shield before the enemy can take it down. However, with the heavy. Also, when using the bulwark shield, he can absorb any grenade damage except shock grenades. Grenades are insanely powerful in this game. We'll get into that into another video. So having a bulwark to basically jump on the grenades like Steve Rogers is what you need. Heavies are used purely for initiating a rush and holding down lanes of fire. While doing this, a bulwark can get close enough to use his ability on a choke point. The jump pack intercessor class can flank from the side. The tactic scans to allow for wall hacks and information. And then the vanguard can grapple either a heavy or bulwark to ensure the enemy cannot counter. Think about that. Every class on their own is very, very good. Incredibly versatile. Very good for specific situations. But when you pair that up with teamwork and communication, you become an absolute powerhouse and unstoppable rush and guaranteed kills. But the most important tip I can give you guys is to move as a squad and stick together. Team shoot and give good comms. This isn't Call of Duty. This isn't a toxic place. This is Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Everybody that I've interacted with, whether it be through uh, text-to-speech or Discord, Voice chat is not up yet. I don't know exactly why, but I hope it comes soon. These guys want to have fun. I have texted in game chat. I have gotten to talk to people. I have invited them to a Discord, especially the Discord server uh, from my YouTube channel. And they are some of the best guys that I've known and maybe friends for years now. Because let me tell you, the Wormer community is one of the best communities out there. They are super nice. If you're willing to go out there just a little bit, you know, kind of extend the hand. Get in the text chat, invite them to a Discord, invite them to a Skype call like I used to when I was younger. Try that out. Get into a squad because when you all can talk to each other and formulate a plan, this game becomes top fucking tier. But the one thing I need to tell you guys right now, get in game, give good comms, and stick as a team. Every lone wolf that tries to say they're really good at this game by themselves are lying. They will get killed 10 out of 10 times to a team running as a group guaranteed it's impossible 
to go solo on this. So please give good comms, learn your classes, and practice, practice, practice. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please hit that like and comment button. Uh, we're going to be trying to get to 1K subscribers before September 20th. That is my birthday. So please, hope you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one.